fully carried out the order sent from Holy Terror. Minimal casualties were taken, and a devastating blow to the filthy traitors has been accomplished. Congratulations. You once more managed to succeed on an impossible mission. Well, you should have died! You went straight for the literal landscape, containing leeches upon leeches of hell for subordinations. The sum of the most elite chaos space marines the enemy has to offer, and even the greatest of warriors would perish to it. But no! You succeeded because you were trained by the book, the holy codex of our oh so wonderful I could shut my power packs spiritual leech! Yes, indeed, my lord, we did. Oh. Oh. Yeah, whatever. You'll be given your usual celebratory purity season. Only by to run into your armor. Yes, please leave. With courage and honor, sir. Are they good? <laughs> Honestly, I have seen you in better days. Honestly, Ariel, I was let down as a deaf corpse guardsman in a paradise world. But I presume it's not bad. After all, my day is not completely ruined as of yet. I have yet to see. Sicarius! Master, I, Cato Sicarius, would like to speak to you! Oh, son of a bitch! Oh boy, here we go again. Did you hear the news? I, Cato Sicarius of the glorious and famed Second Company, have single-handedly captured the treasure primarch for myself. <gasps> Not bad, I guess. Absolutely impossible, but... Not bad. Excuse me, but you must mean that it is one of the greatest deeds the chapter has ever accomplished. And it was thanks to I, Cato Sicarius, because that is what it is. <sighs> and I, Cato Sicarius, was thinking that it was the most righteous time to remind you that I, Cato Sicarius, should be a rightful heir as the new chapter master. Excuse me, was that Volkswagen like a mechanicus adept? Will a stroke or did you just wish for my death? No, you are mistaken, my lord. I, Cato Sicarius, was just envisioning what the future could be like under the guidance of my blessed self. Say, Sicarius, you did capture the traitor Primarch Magnus. But did you at all take into account all the risk you put your company through by accepting this mission? Alone, no less, with no backup whatsoever. Even going so far as to accepting that absurd order about going through the Eye of Terror without your gun field on! The death of others is but a small price to pay as they fall, performing their duties in order to achieve glory for the interest of the best ultimary captain, which of course is I, Cato Sicarius. Get out! But I, Cato Sicarius, has so much more- If you don't get out right now, I'll do the Imperial fisting upon you! I, Cato Sicarius, is not sure if he understands. Do you mean- Yes! <laughs> it's fisting time! Why, Cato Sicarius, will be meeting after such a radical application? That went better than I expected. Maybe I should do it for real once. I only slap him lightly on the hand when he does awful things. Then I will at least stop fighting him sitting on my throne when I come home from conquests. Because, you know, his ass would be in ruins. <sighs> anyway, I am here because I am troubled. I cannot help your problem as ill! Everything is shit! Because that is fine as well. Well, you see, Augustus, I think I've started noticing a certain theme in our chapter. A theme, you say? Trying to pull 
my strings. You're trying to soften me up so you can steal my powers back or spank me or something. We both know you were assets, Corporal, so I wouldn't even be able to touch it anymore, Magnus. I still don't trust you. Well, whoop day fucking do, Magnus. Shall I reclaim your soul from Zinch to prove that I'm not playing you for a fucking trick? Or maybe you'd rather want a new book about some Boonga Woonga workspace horseship? Re reclaim my soul from Zinch? That's impossible! Just fucking watch me. Greetings, abominable demon of the war. You wouldn't mind if I reclaimed the soul of my son Magnus the Red from your disgusting and ridden hands, would you? Oh my! This may be a gentleman coming for a visit. Too bad I didn't prepare some snacks. Or maybe I did, but I can't chance I ate them myself. But alas, how do we know snacks even exist in the first place? Or if they're even any good? Perhaps they are all just figments of imagination. Oh, also, what are you doing here? <sighs> You're as much of an overthinker as ever. Oh, ho, 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 ho! Is your human mind too simple to comprehend some simple pondering? But that does make one wonder. What do we really comprehend? Does comprehension even exist, hmm? We, sitting here in a dimension of thoughts produced by a countless number of minds throughout time, expressing our feelings through simple sounds, understanding but not understanding each other's motives. Is that all we can truly comprehend about this universe? Is this really happening? Hmm, no, yes, maybe. One thing I am sure of, the only thing I can believe in without a shadow of a doubt, is... that you smell like poop! I don't have time for your horrid games, Warp Spawn. Give me the soul. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Yes? No? No. No! Absolutely, positively, impossibly, not. <laughs> All right, you atrocious fiend. I'll be going now. Wait, what do you see? I just reclaimed your soul from that fucked siege. And holy mother of myself was it straining. It was like a constant concentrated fuck shit cramp in my brain. What did you do? I used my OP please nerf powers as the anchor in the golden throne to gather as many fragments of my drifting soul and psyche as possible to manifest myself within the warp so I could hit siege in the face and take your soul back. My soul is back? No. That's impossible! Absolutely impossible. Luckily, I am a motherfucking brute, so I can do that shit. Unfortunately, I felt my soul splitting up at least a hundred times more after pulling that stunt. You better be fucking grateful, you featherhead. That was a horrible way for her. Are you sure you're alright? You know that awful pain you feel when you stuck your dick on a wall? It's like that, but amplified about 500 times and all over everything. Know my pain. This is not true. I still have the powers Zeech granted me. That shifty asshole can't get to you or your powers while you are in here. It's too bright, golden, and orderly for his taste. So yes, do you trust me yet? That, uh, I mean, this all seems incredibly convenient. Well, if I am going to be completely honest, I expected you to put up more of the fight and attempt to summon like a million demons into this place. However, it seems I was capable of convincing you without a shred of solid evidence that your downfall wasn't my fault and make you cry in the process. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? That I'm a very charming fellow. Oh, Starting to recognize that smarminess of yours. I guess you are being honest after all, but... But father, why would you ever even do this? How do you know I will not attempt to escape? How do you know I will not turn back to Zeech, gather my warriors, and annihilate you? I've been with them for millennia, and now you think you can just come and take me back? I'm certain you wouldn't want to go back to praising a filthy demon that betrayed you, leashed your soul to his will, and turned your loyal warriors into nothing but dust. What? How did you know about that? I perceived it. During the incredibly long-ass time I've spent sitting on this throne, 
I've gotten a lot of warpish shenanigans revealed to me, especially the shit that the gods of chaos have been doing. You'd never know how disgustingly often they post about shit like that on Facebook. So in disguise, the Arminimon King hit me in the face and took my collector's edition Magnus Soul. He's such a fucking bully, am I right? He hit your face? What a jerk! He's a winking in your way, isn't he? Indeed. I even think he bruised one of my many cheeks. I'm most certain that's all part of that big old stupid plan of yours. Am I correct? Yep. I got it all figured out. Just a matter of waiting for things to fall into place. Are you right? Are you horny? Oh, bother. Not this horrid wench again. Nurgle, dear, could you throw all diseases you've ever cooked up at this irredeemable penetration addict? Oh, I'd like you to get angry. Give me your credit card and run and see my free cow show. Get the found this bitch with it on! Oh, thanks! How do you use this sucking into war? He's already using me into war, kid, huh? When I get out of the Rectonian, I'm gonna come back and fuck you all up! I swear to myself, I hate you all! <sighs> Kids these days... Well, if that is the case, then you must be aware of the festering edifice that your Imperium has become, right? So far, barely. The custodian over there has been informing me about the latest happenings in the material realm, especially about the Imperium. So far, I'm pretty fucking pissed. I know they! How would you not know about the remarkably horrible things that have been happening if you've been watching over the Imperium all this time like your oh-so-loyal lapdogs would have us believe? I don't know. Maybe I do know, but at the same time not. After 10,000 years of watching over the Imperium, my soul has split up to such a massive fucking degree that I'm not even sure what I know anymore. Parts of my mind are scattered all across the warp, taking on their own separate existences, but yet being connected to one another. Individual accounts of knowledge and personality thrown all about like leaves in the wind. I'm but a fragment of a being that you knew ten millennia ago, forever bound to this throne, like an anchor preventing the remains of myself from forever disappearing into the immaterial. That's why the Custodian has been of great aid in updating me about current events, because he knows a shitload of stuff for some reason. Well, why am I here? What do you intend of me? In due time, I will tell you. No, you're not pulling that one again! That idiotic reasoning was what led to the horse heresy to begin with! I'm just kidding, ho ho ho. Besides, you're not one to talk. That's also the same idiotic reasoning that turned 90% of your legion into a pile of dust. Like fucking father, like fucking son. But I had good reasons to hide my secrets from them. But I presume you know all about how that feels, don't you? I suppose you were right in that sense. Come to think of it, just witnessing how my first captain have reacted to my secrecy. This is all too ironic for my taste. So where is that first captain of yours now? Is he still alive? Honestly, I wanted to kill that fool after he casted the so-called rubric of Aramin that turned my marines into dust. But I got fucked over by Zinch again, telling me that it didn't want me to ruin his new toys. So instead I banished him. Hold the fuck up. Banished him? After doing that shit to your disciples? After he has shown countless times that his personal interests are more important to him than your orders? What else can I do? Really, it's not like I could just hold him in a cell. Yes, you could have, but that's not the fucking point. Have you ever considered the consequences of letting him go? What with being the first captain, and really big into stupid warpy shit I'm sure he'll get his hands on an army of his own that he uses for evil, mischievous cartoon villain schemes. It's fine, honestly. Knowing that loser, he probably isn't doing shit right now. At last! I've finally done it! I've finally found... The Black Library. It has taken eons, and the murdering of countless Eldar. But finally, all my hard work will pay off. All the secrets of the universe are mine, a flick of a page away. 
and I will finally understand the true nature of the gods. Perhaps even become one of them. <laughs> oh, I can't lie anymore. This is getting me so excited I could use my dick as an AP-1 weapon. <laughs> Hold your fire, Rubrix. It would seem that the laughing god of the pitiful fallen Eldar has come to try and stop me. Damn right I will. Oh, I know exactly what should be done at a time like this. Rubrics, laugh with me! <laughs> oh well, for being a laughing god, you truly are laughable. Please, enlighten me. How do you plan to stop me? Do you have your car? What? Your library card. You can't stay within these walls unless you have one. Have it? Or not? Oh, oh, of course, of course, I have one. One second, Tom. Let me see here. Oh, was it in here? No. Hang on a minute. I'm sure I put it in here in my rules, or... Would I put it out of my pauldron? No. I swear, I plan for everything. It must be here somewhere. If you don't have it, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, sir. Alright, it seems like I've lost it, but look. I can just pay for a subscription. We don't take subscriptions directly anymore. You have to subscribe on a web website. Subscribe on the web website? Oh, okay, I mean, I guess I can do that while I'm here. Do you have a spare terminal like... Wait a minute. You're just fucking with me now, aren't you? I'm the one who's supposed to be doing the fucking with here. I'll teach you a fucking lesson. Open fire, rubrics. No, 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 no. Tell me, tell me you're a sized clown. Don't you have any idea how long it took me to find this place? Shouldn't I get the free pass just the fucking once? Oh, for fuck's sake, scream in desperation for me, Whatever he is doing, he will fail. That is the fate he will suffer on his journey. Certainly sounds like every brick balancing fucking teenage riddled chaos fanboy trying to start his own edgy war band in his garage. Nevertheless, you have not answered me yet. What is my purpose here? Shut your fucking war, Brit, and I will tell you. I have brought you here, as I intend to reshape the Imperium from top to bottom once more. I intend to bring back all my sons, and I intend to reclaim the galaxy for the human species. I intend to heal all wounds and have no shrouds cover up the mistakes of the past and the mistakes of the future. All shall be at peace in mankind, and you shall help me, Magnus. You are the first one to be found once more. That is, well, dare I say, an admirable cause. So long as it isn't served on a platter of lies, well... As much reluctance as I feel while saying this, I shall aid you in this cause. For now. Most excellent. Now, let the bonding procedure begin. Magnus, I have a present for you. A present? Yes, a present. Bring it in. Whoa, what could it be? Open up and have a look. It is your first bike, my son. Wow, I, I never rode one before. I was always inside reading my books, but every Tom Jagger saw I rode his, I always thought he looked really cool. Now it is your turn to look cool, Magnus. Take a ride around the Imperial Palace. Okay, thanks, Father. Don't forget to wear a helmet. Of course not, Father. happened to the Salamander's Primarch Vulcan. Oh, Vulcan? That's kind of random, but um... I'm pretty sure after dying a shitload of times, he decided to suddenly disappear. It is said amongst the Salamanders that he hid nine different artifacts across the galaxy before banishing. When the Salamanders find all of these items once again, 
Vulcan will make his return. Last I heard, they've recovered five of those nine artifacts so far. For being such an uncomfortably friendly person, he can sure pull some complete assery it seems. All right, we'll do it like this. Send a message to the Ultramarines and tell them to find the remaining artifacts and plant them near the Salamanders. What? Are you sure, my lord? I mean, the Salamanders have dedicated their lives to finding these artifacts and they are a bitch to find. Moreover, in the event that the Ultramarines do find Vulcan's artifacts, the Salamanders will be outraged by it. It would probably lead to a huge loss of morale and unleash some majorly repressed anger. It might even motivate both the chapter master and the forward father to turn against the Imperium. Are you really sure that's the right thing to do? Just tell the Ultramarines to do it with utmost stealth so they aren't noticed. Besides, better make use of those fucking smirks since they want to prove themselves. My reason says fuck no, get rid of that blue blob of nambi pambi fecal matter. But my intuition says send them to do shit and stuff will go forward. I will go with the latter, because I have like prophetic powers and stuff. Very well, my lord. I'll have the scribes ready in those moments. Woo! Look at me now! That's my boy. Just wait until you get to meet my centurion. I am happy! Let's see what you have done. 